from yeah, yeah I'm, tr- I'm trying to understand why did your why did you start making those wrong decisions? The financial incentive and the growth incentive was there, right? But it's a demand from the buyers, from the customers. So mm-hmm. if you have a lot of like, stores right. that want certain products from you, and you you're designing a collection, and they only buy like ten percent, ten percent of the collection, and they want more of that type of ten percent. Yeah. And perhaps that is not the products that you are thinking that the brand should stand for, and then. Mm you're like in going wrong with a with the brand. Yeah, no, and that makes sense. That was like one of the things. And I think what we actually did as well, we stopped sell, selling to a lot of stores. We took really, made the company much smaller. Uh, we changed a lot within the company. Uh, we went back a lot in um, turnover. And, but that we did because we took that step. And that was mm. very important for us because we did not want to show ourselves wrong in any moment then then we went back and what we learned from that what i feel what we've been doing now is that we've been so clear like mm-hmm. this is exactly the the way we're going to go and there's no small turnings to left or right we just have to go straight now and only do that and i think mm-hmm. that's been and the learning from these last three years it's that really go the way you and i believe in now and not listen to anyone else <laughs> of course the team that we yeah, work with because team. they are in yeah. the team in the stand but a close team we, we of course listen to we have a very great team actually and but yeah. and just follow exactly what we have decided to to build and believe in ourselves believe and our vision yeah. and stick to it and as you said that's before. the most important and this mm. has I think we have, uh, and now three years later, we are on a good path. We we can really see that all this work has been uh, um, finalized in a very good. Uh, we are in a good place now. We now we wear the clothes again. <laughs> now we wear the clothes, <laughs> but also, I mean, the turnover the last two years have almost doubled, and we can see that uh, both that the people we want to wear the brand is actually wearing them, and we can see the the customer very clear, and we can also see the turnover. The figures are also mm, showing. Of course, yeah, they, they're correlated with that. Interesting. Yeah, it's um, it's interesting how the evolution of identity sort of like happens, right? Because everybody has their own personal identity, and there's some insecurity or that that causes you to start changing that. Insecurities yeah. in business tend to be, you know, cash, cash flow problems, uh, financial <laughs> ambitions, investors. Um, and through making those bad decisions, you learn and become more, even more confident about who you were at the very, very beginning. And if you manage to transition and learn from that experience, you can have a very newfound and solidified vision of who you are as people, but also who you are as brands. Because I mean, in a dynamic like yours, House of Dogma is literally an extension of who you three guys are. And- That's true. And I think... If you are the creator of a brand and building a brand, you have to really to stick and, and be be true to yourself and believe in yourself and stick to it, not listen too much to other people because they don't have your vision on, they don't see what, you, what your vision of it. So mm. it's so important because we knew our vision and a lot of uh, like the first uh, two years, the board was like, well, what is the brand? What is the, uh, What do you want with the brand? And they didn't really understand it. And we had such a clear vision today. No one is asking about that. I mean, everyone mm. everyone is very clear in the company, in the board and everything. So it, it's nice that we finally like nailed it. <laughs> mm. Interesting. Awesome. And what um 